Hey Capricorn, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm going to see what wants to come out. We've got the lovers on the back of the deck. Present energy. Five of cups. Two, two, two. The advice, the hierophant, near future, nine of cups. Five of cups. The advice is to commit, to come out of a feeling of loss, to come out of some kind of painful feeling. It feels like a torturous feeling being caught in some kind of indecision. The pain is coming from not making a decision. Time to answer the call. Past energy. <laughs> Four of Swords, Temperance, Queen of Wands, the Chariot. There's something that you've dreamt of since a child that you've not given up on. It's that something you've decided is going to is your truth, regardless of what anyone else says. Something's becoming reality. It's like you've believed something into reality. Example, telling yourself you're the best football player and then becoming a professional football player. Or like playing around, pretending to be your favourite football player with your friends when you were young and then actually playing for a team that they played for, something like that. Singing and dancing with your friends and then performing on stage. It's like something that you actually have always dreamt of, something you've been working towards. There's been a transformation and it's like you may be wondering, well, why has this transformation happened? It's like, why has this transformation happened? It's like something doesn't fit that you don't fit where you used to be. It may not make sense, why is this happening? It could feel almost annoying because you're seeing it as what you're missing out on. Why you can't enjoy things you used to, why you can't maybe listen to certain things, watch certain things that you used to, purchase certain things that you used to. You've outgrown your environment and this has been intentional. It's like, don't question why this is happening. You know why it's happening. It's just like, it feels like as much as you've set out to manifest something that part of you like, doesn't believe it can come true. That you'd think of every other reason why you've gone through this transformation, why something's gone the way it is. And maybe that's from a kind of negative viewpoint of like, oh, why it's a bad thing. Look like seeing all the issues that it's causing right now because things aren't resonating the way they used to resonate. It's like they're not meant to. Something better is coming. Wish fulfillment. Near future. Nine of cups. Because some of you, it feels like you could be feeling frustrated to the point that you want to transform back to fit into an old environment. It's like trying to change yourself to fit into something you've already come out of. It's like you're not meant to be feeling uncomfortable in certain situations. You're not meant to be feeling rejected or left out of certain situations so you can fight to fit in. It's like... If everything's falling apart anyway, use that as motivation to might as well, like you might as well commit. That thing of how when things that need to change aren't being changed, that they get changed on our behalf, five of cups. I had to make you uncomfortable, you never would have moved. That kind of energy. Don't fight to hold on. I'm seeing a man, it's like, 
as a volcano's erupting or something's exploding it's like trying to put the pieces back together it's like as quick as you try and put something together something's falling apart you're not going to win a fight with the absolute slow down slow down come back to yourself look for the good right now realize you're being guided to create something different that's moving you away from it's moving you away from a lot of different things it could be overwhelming because of how many different things are changing around you it's like what you focus on grows put your thoughts your feelings your actions your intentions your energy your joy into this dream everything's aligning for you it's like just trust Ace of Swords. Clarify. The Empress. Don't fight to know the truth. Something's coming out about Don't feel like you need to fight to know the truth. What is even the truth? Everybody, Everybody's truth is from their own perspective. One person could experience the same thing and give five different stories on the same event. One person can read, um, five people could read one book and all five different people have a different feeling about the book. I was speaking to my uncle the other day, something's coming through and he was just saying about how he was reading a book and his friend or somebody he knew was reading the same book and he thought it was hilarious and that it was really amusing certain things in the book and the other person see it from a perspective as it was something traumatic. And it's like complete two different perspectives, two different understandings, maybe two different life experiences. Like seeing things differently. People were triggered by different things. And it's like, don't fight for the truth. What even is the truth? Don't doubt your truth based on someone else's truth. Because their truth about you may be true to them, but it may not be true to you. Let go. Don't fight to fit into someone else's narrative. It feels like, yeah, yourself. It feels like as you're moving 11, 11 on the clock, it feels like as you're moving forward, People are being aware of this. It's like know yourself. It's a time to stay strong, to stay grounded in your own energy. It doesn't feel like anything dangerous, but it feels like something that could pull you away from your focus right now. A lot of distractions coming through because it's like people are sensing you're about to move in a different direction. Someone, someone or more than one person is like a feeling of losing control. It's like as much as someone wouldn't be able to admit that they don't that they don't want you to have a new beginning. It's like it's not serving them for you to have a new beginning. Don't use this as a reason to hold on out of some kind of guilt. It feels like be mindful of this, be aware of this. It's like making decisions based on what someone else wants could cause some kind of resentment later. Um, okay, hang on one sec. Ace of Swords, Empress, Wheel of Fortune. The chariot. The best you can do right now, flow and go. There's something, it's like, you know what's true to you. You know where you feel called to go. You know what you feel called to do. You know what you feel called to, the energy you feel called to be in. The environment you need. Something's coming through about that. That you know the kind of environment you need to thrive. You can create that environment in different ways. Do what you can to help the will turn in your favour, to keep things flowing surrender feels like pampering yourself at this time loving on yourself emotional health spiritual health mental health physical health taking care of yourself traveling may help something to shift the energy maybe taking a flight the world follow your first instincts there's somewhere for some of you there's somewhere specific that keeps coming up that you keep seeing and you're like oh i want to go there i want to go there there's a reason for that there's a reason for that 
But it may mean setting boundaries with someone, having to hurt someone's feelings, not because you're intentionally trying to hurt someone's feelings, but someone's feelings are going to get hurt that you're doing your own thing. It feels like you're going to need to do your own thing anyway if you want to see something through the way you want to see it through. Nine of Wands. It's like it, you, it's up to you, your dreams or somebody's somebody's feelings. I'm not saying to dis dismiss people's feelings, but yeah. Maybe you should. It's like not not taking something personally. It's like understanding somebody's pain, but not make, taking that your responsibility. There's something that you need to do. Because it feels like later on, this could build up some resentment. Like it's going to be ultimately your decision. Even if you turn back later and say like, why did you make me do this? It's like no one can make you do anything. Be mindful of what you're choosing right now. Don't see yourself out of some opportunity. Or let your mind talk you into, oh, maybe I'll wait for a better time when it's better for this person. It's like the time is now. Ace of Pentacles. The Moon. Ten of Pentacles. King of Swords. It feels like you're being asked to stand in your truth. That there's something you're here to express, a message you're here to share in whatever way that is, whether it's verbally, in terms of writing something. It feels like whatever this thing was that could have made you feel like people pleasing or would it even have you debating to put your something for you on pause to accommodate someone else? That this had to be cleared. This programming had to be cleared. In order for you to even see why you're doing something. Because it feels like this you wasn't able to get close enough to you. That some intention, some kind of people pleasing... Um, habit sacrificing yourself for others it feels like you wasn't able to be with you long enough to see something clearly it feels like whatever this thing was you've finally seen it you've seen the light the outcome, death, transformation, the lovers putting down the weight ten of wands something got too heavy you may have just had to shut everyone off for a minute. It's like going back to scratch, learning something from scratch, going back to the basics, putting yourself into some kind of school, some kind of educational thing, or it's like walking yourself through something, maybe learning. You could be self-taught in different areas, eight of pentacles. You could have been living differently to others. I'm seeing the randomest thing. I'm seeing a YouTube video that I watched ages ago. I can't remember the guy's name that makes these videos. And he copies different people's routines, different people's days. And there was, I think it was Pablo Picasso that he did. And it was like doing different things at different hours that didn't really match society. Working from this time till early hours of the morning. And then maybe eating something at a certain time that didn't match when everyone else ate. It's just like, it, it's kind of that mad professor energy. It feels like you've had to really trial and error your way through things. Fighting up the mountain, seeing what works, doing it your way, maybe being judged for that. It's like, oh, this isn't the way things should be done. You could have even been seen for less than because you did something differently. Maybe working different hours, maybe working more hours, maybe working less hours, whatever it is. 1818, 18, the King of Wands. It feels like being in that perfect flow of student and teacher, being able to constantly be in that learning state, in that empty place, but also be able to share, to guide to serve 
Falling in love suddenly, being swept off your feet, the need to stay grounded during a very emotional experience, romantic, captivating, dr dramatic, flirtatious. What I just thought, what I just thought, tell me. So is there more than one or is it one? Come on, you can't leave me on that. The lovers, the magician, the fool. Okay. Okay. Follow your first instincts when it comes to love. You could be receiving a lot of offers. Someone's coming in looking like everything's great, talking the talk, maybe even walking the walk, but it's going to be like firework energy, bang, done, fizzle out quick. Someone's intentions aren't genuine. This could be more than one person. It's like this feels like an energy you've already entertained. But you Notice the difference between energies coming in that are a reflection of your past and those that are guiding you towards the new. Those that are coming in that are a reflection of where you're at. It feels like there could be more than one lo love offer coming in, but there's an opportunity here. It's, this feels like somebody you've never met before to have a family with this person, to take something to the next level, to build with this person. This person's very calm, very intuitive. It's like they want to build with you, create something with you, maybe working with you. But don't be deceived. It's like something could come in that flat flatters you or it could catch you off guard. Remember what you want. One, one, one. It's like something's very exhilarating and it's kind of giving hangover energy. Like it all feels good in the moment and then regret, headache, that kind of burdensome, achy, lethargic. But then there's something here that may not seem as exhilarating, but it's a dream come true. Don't trap yourself in something you've already come out of. Eight of Swords, Page of Cups. Because you're feeling dissatisfied. Four of Cups, master your emotions. Because it feels like... You, something about living with a pain or regret. It's not necessary. It's like even if it's a case of just before you make the decision, sit yourself down and... Remember how something went. It's like this feels like something you've entertained before. Even if it's not the same person, you know it's the same energy. King of Cups. This is something that is like you're you're so aware of this. This is something you've already mastered. Something you'd actually be going back to in terms of like rebellion. That's how it feels like rebellion. Whether that's rebellion at yourself, rebellion at spirit, rebellion at your purpose, your like because something's not going your way. It's like, it's self-inflicted to go down a road that you've already come out of. I feel that you're aware of this. The frog, cleanse. Again, managing stress, managing hormones, balancing things out. Taking time to sit, relax, breathe, let everything go. It's like make it a priority to get into a parasympathetic state. Don't rush. It's like take as long as you need to do something. Don't be hard on yourself. 
if you're not relaxed you're not you can't expect to just sit down for five minutes and relax it's like it's gonna take time but you're being guided to prioritize that i'm hearing a lot of things come through about who's got time for this, who's got time for that. But there's something about making that a priority that is necessary. It's just as necessary as you taking action for you to ground yourself. For you to connect to yourself. I've got so many things coming through, but I'm not, I keep stopping myself because I don't want to keep rambling. I always start rambling and then I'm here for days. I've got so many different things coming through. But no, let's keep it moving right now. Frog sings the songs that bring the rain and make the road dirt more bearable. Frog medicine is akin to water energy in the east on the medicine wheel. Frog teaches us to honour our tears for they cleanse our soul. All water rites belong to frog, including all initiations by water. Water prepares and cleanses the body for sacred ceremony. It is the element we understand best in the womb. If you were to look at where you are today, would you use any of the following words to describe your condition? Tired, overloaded, harried, frustrated, guilty, itchy, nervous, at a loss, empty or weakened. If so, take a break and allow yourself to bathe in the waters of frog medicine. This could mean a long relaxing bath, disconnecting the phone, yelling stop or taking in deep cleansing breaths. The key thought is to find a way to rid yourself of distractions and to replace the mud with clear energy. Then replenish your part spirit, body and mind. An ability of frog medicine people is to give support and energy where it is needed. A frog medicine person can cleanse negativity from any environment. Many mediums or clairvoyants who work with cleaning haunted houses carry frog medicine. Frog speaks of new life and harmony for its rain song. Call to frog and find peace in the joy of taking time to give to yourself. A part of this giving is cleansing yourself of any person, place or thing that does not contribute to your new state of serenity and replenishment. Page 189, page 190. The Dark Moon. Spend time in contemplation and meditation in order to seek greater understanding of yourself and those around you. I'm going to leave it there. If this did resonate, like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon. Sending so much love.